Hey everyone. So I just want to do this video for people who need this, how to make keto affordable, how to shop in a way that is easy on your wallet as well as tasty. So I try and do um, at least um, weekly to bi-weekly shopping. Now, the reason why I don't like to go to the store every day is because it's really hard to keep track of the amount you're spending. And just so you guys get an idea of what you are spending, for those of you who do not track, this is what you can start doing is for one month or for a week, just save every time you go to the store, anytime you buy any little thing, keep all the receipts. You know, cross out the things that don't really count towards your budget if you don't, if you want to do that, or like toward like food items, like getting dog bones, for example. But get your rece recipes, receipts, or online banking, whatever you do to keep track. But just do it for a month or even just a couple of weeks. It will be amazing the amounts of extra money that you spent on things that you'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Like it's mind blowing. So, Take the time just to do that. It's really interesting. I looked at that even just between my husband's getting coffees, eating out, um, wherever you'll realize you're spending more money a month than you thought or where you didn't think you had money for groceries. You actually do if you just even eliminated like your coffee drinks. So just, just start there and then like make lists on things either write them down log them in a computer what are vegetables what are like necessity things like recipes what were things that you just kind of bought for fun what was more like food like entertainment type food you know to me that would be like coffees eating fast food eating out those things those are separately logged and if i look at those per month You'll really see your grocery bill versus like entertainment and things that you could maybe do with or without type items. But it will give you an idea of what you're spending and why. And then a lot of times what you do is you just start to cut that down a little bit. So I, I think, well, I don't need to get coffees every week. So maybe I'm just going to put 20 bucks aside per month. And when that 20 bucks is gone for coffees, it's gone. Or 20 bucks to get whatever random food items you want, but when it's gone, it's gone. Second of all, if you guys can do this, start shopping with cash. Um, most of the time I go to, go to the grocery store, I have cash on me. Because it makes you stop and think about the stuff that you're buying. So usually in a grocery trip, I will not spend more to $50 to $100. That is my max so that we see I can go home look about it think about it because sometimes you're like oh I didn't need that or oh I still needed this and you can start to catch where maybe you buy things too much and it'll make you second guess things like if you're buying an extra thing of olive oil well you know I have olive oil at home and I'm just about out but I really do need more chicken right now maybe I'll go buy the chicken and put this extra thing of olive oil. I know people who have like 10 different kinds of stevia because they get to the bottom of it, buy a new one, and then start using their new stevia and never actually finish the old one. So you're wasting maybe $10 in sweeteners that you didn't need to waste. So those are some tips for basic keto things. And then your basics usually is, depending on if you like it or not, I always have in my fridge tuna, eggs, some kind of vegetable because I know no matter what I could I could grab that out and I can make a meal. I might be starving but I could make a meal or I may not enjoy it. Those are just easy things to have. I know I could cook up a couple eggs easy if I had to and then I know if I need somewhere on the go and I had to have something I do have tuna. So those are easy items for me that I always, always, always have around. Those are just in my fridge at all times, easy peasy, don't even have to think about it type things. Second of all, to cut down on waste, it really does help to buy frozen vegetables as much as you can because a lot of times lettuce or you get busy or things and they just go bad and you waste it. So a lot of times with the frozen vegetables, I can break it up, 
take out as much as I need, throw it in the pan, throw the rest in the freezer, and you're good to go. It's a lot easier to do it that way. Second of all, when I grocery shop, take the time to make a list. If you have a couple quick items you need to buy, that's one thing. But 10 to 1, you're going to get suckered into buying more than you think. And so I will make a list. So example here. Okay, I've just got like zucchini, cucumbers, all those things that I thought about. What do I want this week? What do I need for the food that I plan to make? And so I'll make a little list. And then I'll number, I'll put just an estimate at my grocery store, whatever grocery store I'm going to, about how much each one of those is going to cost me. Because typically I know now because I calculate it. So I know eggs are going to run me, you know, 15 bucks because I'm going to get eggs and some egg whites for extra baking or protein purposes. I just like to have them as fillers. They're really easy to use, getting some good protein in. And then... Um, you know, I do need like some mustard or something and I'm calculating, okay, that's about how much I want to spend on it. So if I log that down or look at it, then I can be like, okay, that's going to cost me around 47 50 bucks right there. So then I can look at it and think, ooh, well, maybe, you know, that's 50 bucks. I still have to buy a bunch of protein for the week. Maybe, you know, I'd, I'd only like 40 of that dollars to come from the vegetables. What could I get later? And then I might be like, you know what? I already have a mustard. Shh, cross off. Or like right now I'm like, oh, I am completely out of mustard. I need to go get mustard. That's got to go on my list. So making some adjustments. Or you're like, you know, if I'm running out of money, maybe, maybe I'll put the lettuce back. And then when I'm going through the store, either on your phone or calculator, kind of calculate up what you need get to the end of the line and think sometimes I'll look in my basket being like is there anything in here that I could put back is there anything that I really have to have right now and then a lot of times I'll find something I'm like why did I need three packages of eggs like I could go get eggs next week if I want to one package is enough I'm gonna have a short week let's just do that something of the sort just to kind of keep down my cost per week and not over buying and spending food and letting it go to waste so that's what I'll do, or I'll buy in bulk. I'll know I'll be like, all right, I want $50. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, and I'm only going to buy as many vegetables as I can. And so I'll calculate out there, like, a thing of frozen cauliflower is, like, $3, 2 to 3 bucks. So I'll think, like, okay, I'm going to get, like, 10 packages of that. I'm going to do my peppers, my asparagus, because those are my favorites, and then I'll do broccoli and whatever I have left. And I'll take that 50 bucks, I'll go up, and I'll say I have 50 bucks, drop it on the table, pay for that, and then usually I have a month's worth of vegetables just right there. And then anything else I choose to buy is on hand. So then if I have a tighter month, I just won't buy as many vegetables, or if I want more vegetables, I've just got to open my freezer, pull them out. Those things make life really simple, and buy... Um, I will usually follow the meat sales. If there's a lot of, I love steak, but I will not buy it when it's full priced, especially because I'm buying organic, it's really expensive anyways, is I will look on our sales to where they're just about to freeze it. So sometimes even if you check um, like the frozen aisle, they will have steaks and stuff already there that they froze and they're a lot cheaper. So sometimes I'll either already grab like the frozen steaks or they're doing a deal where the meat is they're getting a new stock in so they're making everything cheaper so then i will calculate my hundred bucks or whatever and i will buy a lot more steak knowing that i'm not going to eat all that but i will budget that out and my chicken out or something buy things that are typically more on sale so that they're going to last me a lot longer in time and then my meat's already frozen, so all I have to do is throw it in the fridge. I think about each day what I want to have out and cook that week or meal prep, how my week's going to go. And then I organize most of my eating around that. I'll think, okay, I feel like chicken this week, so what am I going to make with chicken? All right, I need butter and I need seasonings and I need mustard. Do I have those items? And then if I need to make a random run to the store, I've got some petty cash kind of that I keep on myself. To be like, okay, five bucks, I'm out of butter. Let's go buy some butter. Like, okay, actually for this recipe, it calls for this odd ingredient. Let's go get that so I can make this. 
you know, like cream cheese or something that I wouldn't personally keep on hand here or some extra cheese or something for a special meal. So that's kind of the way I budget and shop. It's really easy. So most of the time I can say on average, I probably spend anywhere between three to four hundred dollars a month on food, which is actually not a whole lot. That's for two people and that's about a hundred bucks a week. Now that's with me having plenty of room to not be down to the wire each week of like, oh my gosh, uh, I can't wait till next week because we have no food. So I still have plenty of options with this and sometimes I will spend a little bit more, sometimes I will spend a little bit less, but that's easy and that way the food's already there, I'm not overbuying, not overspending. And I'm usually taking about $100 per week in groceries and dividing it out evenly so that if I have proteins, I'll go buy vegetables. If I have vegetables, I will go buy proteins and averaging it out that way. So it's a pretty cheap budget. And then if I need something, I start planning and saving, like knowing like, okay, you need more coconut oil. Well, that's going to be a big buy. That's like going to be $20 maybe for, you know, the one that I want. So if that's $20, I've got to figure out how to put that in my budget. What am I going to eliminate in that next week or so so that I can add my coconut oil in here because I need it for baking. So that's really easy, guys. That's how I budget and shop. And I will try and show you guys more about that. You know, you've seen a couple of my grocery hauls. I just go all over the place. It keeps it fun and interesting and trying new things all the time. So I hope that helps you. That's how I shop and budget.